see, I'm going to talk about the introduction of introducing task-based language teaching. But I'd like to begin with a little story, a little anecdote about my own experience as a, as a teacher. Uh, this goes back, my goodness, this goes back nearly, nearly 30 years when I was working in Africa, I was working in Zambia, and I was an English teacher in a Bush secondary school. And um, I was teaching a grammar lesson. And I was trying to deal with a particular error that my students were making. They were overusing the present continuous tense. So they were saying things like, uh, I am having a headache, instead of I have a headache. So these were the days when one used to do lots of drilling. And I designed a very good drill and put the students through this excellent drill. And they all were able to correct themselves and to use the present simple tense. I have a headache rather than I am having a headache. So I thought this is a great success and I gave them a written exercise to do. And I noticed that at the back of the room, there was this boy sitting who was not doing any writing. So I went up to him and I said, why aren't you doing a written exercise? And he said, I am not having my exercise book. <laughs> and I kind of realized that maybe drilling wasn't the way. Um, and Actually, that particular episode or that experience of teaching in that school got me interested in how people learn languages because there seemed to be a gap between how I was teaching and how these students were learning or perhaps not learning. And that gap got me interested in second language learning. And from then on, I began to read and study and research about second language learning. However, I've never lost my interest in language teaching. I've always been interested in the relationship between how people learn a language and how one might teach it. And this is really what has led me to feel that task-based language teaching is one approach to language teaching that is compatible with what we know about language learning. So that is why I'm talking about this topic today. Let me begin with some introductory comments, if I can. The first is just a list. This is a list of names of people who, are, who work in language teaching or who are second language acquisition researchers. Newland, Long, Skian, Ellis, Willis, Norris, and A. Brandon. All of these have written a book about task-based language teaching. And these books have all been written in the, really about the last six, seven years. So I'm simply showing you that to realize, to get you to understand that task-based language teaching is attracting enormous interest, it's attracting a lot of publications, a lot of interest from teachers, a lot of interest from researchers, etc. The starting point, of course, is to ask, what do we mean by a task? And here is my definition of a task. First of all, a task is a language teaching activity. It's a language teaching activity that has these four characteristics. The first is that there is a primary focus on meaning. In other words, when you're doing the activity, you are predominantly concerned with trying to communicate meaning from it, not with trying to learn some bits and pieces of language. In order to achieve that, a task will have some kind of gap an information gap or an opinion gap. A task also requires the participants to choose the linguistic resources needed to complete the task. And it's this really that distinguishes a task from an exercise. Because an exercise, like the drills that I was doing in Zambia 30 years ago, really provide learners with the language that they need and simply require them to manipulate it in some way, like filling in a blank or transforming from one sentence to another sentence, or answering a question in accordance with a fixed pattern. But a task requires the learners to try to use their own language. I want to conclude by simply listing what I see as the advantages of task-based teaching. 
first task-based teaching offers the opportunity for natural learning inside the classroom. And arguably, it's through what I call natural learning that communicative ability develops. Why do you have to spend a lot of money going to Australia or the United States or New Zealand to live in a native-speaking environment if, in fact, you can create a true native-speaking environment inside the classroom, a natural learning environment inside the classroom? It emphasizes meaning over form, but it also caters to the learning of form. Common mis a common misunderstanding about task-based language teaching is that it is only concerned with developing communicative abilities, not linguistic abilities. That's not true. Task-based language teaching is actually directed at both. And I've already argued that tasks are potentially much more intrinsically motivating than a lot of the other things that we traditionally do in language teaching. Also, it's compatible with a learner-centered educational philosophy. Because you're not telling the learner what language to learn. You're letting the learner pick out the language that they can learn from the tasks that they do. And finally, I wouldn't want to suggest that we need to make a switch from traditional language teaching to task-based teaching. I wouldn't want to argue that we are into moving from one to, a, to another. It's perfectly possible, in fact, to have a combination of the two, to have some task-based language lessons and also to have some more traditional approaches. It might be argued, of course, that task-based language teaching is one of these Western ideas that is being foisted on Asia. This is an argument that I have heard made. Uh, and the argument goes that uh, one needs to find a method that works in the particular national instructional context. So task-based language teaching might work in the West, but it's not going to work in Korea, maybe not work in the Philippines, etc., because the instructional contexts are not suitable for them. Fine, but it depends on your purpose. If you want to develop communicative abilities, in your students. If you want your students to be able to communicate in English and not just pass formal language examinations, somewhere there's got to be something like task-based language teaching in your curriculum. Thank you very much.